Hi there, this is James with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Today we're going to have a video on the installation as well as the design concepts for Robin's install from Creativity RV. This installation is done on a Grand Design Solitude. Uh, the fundamental design concept that we put together for Robin was essentially to power just about anything in her RV within reason, possibly operate her air conditioner and fireplace. Prior to Robin's arrival, we pre-configured and assembled her power panel. Today we're putting together Robin's power equipment. Uh, this is the first part of the process of doing the installation on her 2020 Grand Design Solitude. There's a roof access here that I'm trying to figure out where it goes, see if I can use it. I'm going to be able to see where it goes. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to find a spot on the roof where we can bring the PV cables down to the rest of the equipment in the bay here. So we're using fish tape and we've gone up a wall and so we're trying to find out where that comes out on the roof. All right, now that we got these wires through, we're gonna go ahead and put the panels on the roof, um, go ahead and get them secured and put the junction box up to tie in the uh, module PV wires to come in on this MTW. We also ran a coax cable for a satellite dish, as well as uh, there's a coax cable up top for a Wi-Fi or a cellular antenna. What we're doing here is we're laying out the panels, getting ready to mount them. Um, want them about an inch from the edge of the roof. Uh, we're going to use uh, mechanical fasteners, screw fasteners uh, on all of the Z brackets. And then we're going to um, also use some Dicor or Mastic uh, for uh, water sealing. So right now we're just uh, making the bay ready to take the, the pre-wired power panel. Disconnect no, the top. you're about, you got about an inch and a half from that. Okay. We mounted the power panel on the back side of this wall. We're going to drill a hole in through the wall to run the AC wiring and some of the DC wiring, plus these PV cables uh, from the roof. And then we're going to run them along these beams. Um, and then on the other side of this wall is where the electric panel is, and we're going to go ahead and integrate the inverter system in with the electric panel. Alright, so these these come from the roof, these wires. 
we're going to tie them into the charge controller up here. And then uh, these are going to be the AC wires that will feed power into the main electric panel. We'll tie them into the inverter. We just got to send these data cables through those holes so we can tie the equipment in with the color control. Some routing and wiring the PV wires from the roof into the charge controllers. So these, uh, these wires here, they're the ones that are tied into the panels up top. And then we ran them all the way down from the roof, down and into here. And then I have these pre-wired essentially in each of the charge controllers. So all we have to do is just tie them in and we should be able to supply power to the charge controllers at that point. And then all we got to do is get the batteries hooked in and the DC system for the rig hooked in and we should be good to go. So with this new system, all the batteries are going to be tied into this bus bar here. Um, this takeoff is to go to the 12 volt uh, system for their RV, which powers like the lights and the other 12 volt appliances and such within the RV. So this is going to be essentially a disconnect and a breaker for the 12 volt circuit. So we're just prepping Robin's Battleborn batteries for installation in the in the bay here. Currently we've got the entire RV's 12 volt system integrated. We've got the AC um, integrated into the main electric panel. Um, the panel here was pre-wired. The last thing we have to do is really just grab the batteries and tie them in. So we got a strap in here, we got the batteries ready. We're gonna go ahead and sling them in here and connect them up and we can start testing everything. Okay, so the project went perfectly for Robin. Uh, essentially, we're able to power just about everything she wants in her RV, from her TVs, her laptop, the air conditioner, even her fireplace. Um, everything is functionally set up to operate. She's excited about boondocking sustainably without having to worry about her electrical needs. Should you need a system like this or a similar system of this nature, feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, or visit our website linked in the description below. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.